in commemoration of Caribbean Wellness Day this year, we reached out to people across the region to hear their thoughts on reimagining healthy spaces. Here is what they had to say. Hello, I'm Francine Charles, the Program Manager for the Childhood Obesity Prevention Program at the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados. And I'm extremely pleased to be joining our regional partners for Caribbean Wellness Day to reimagine healthy spaces. Let's make health and well-being a priority by taking urgent measures to create healthier environments so that we can improve the quality of life of our people and make wonderful experiences for everyone. This is Caribbean Wellness Day. We're calling on leaders from across the region to develop and implement effective public health policies that lead to a healthier Caribbean. We support one, policies that create an active society where everyone can easily and affordably participate in physical activity. Well-lit green spaces, accessible sidewalks and bike lanes encourage more physical activity. Transport and urban planning policies can help. Community spaces that promote physical activity are important. Physical activity spaces that are safe and accessible help to empower and to enable the people living in our neighborhoods to develop healthier lifestyles. Safe walking trails and exercise equipment on our parks so young and old together can enjoy our outdoor spaces. Two, the introduction of tobacco control legislation. One of every six deaths caused by NCDs can be directly linked to smoking. Cigarettes are also bad for the environment. Tobacco control policies can make a difference. A smoke-free environment oftentimes leads to a healthier society, which in turn can contribute significantly to a more productive one. This is why we need to ensure the implementation of policies which promote the creation of more smoke-free public spaces, as this is a fundamental ingredient, not only for our well-being, but for that of other vulnerable groups, including the elderly, and especially for children and future generations to come. We want to enjoy fresh air and smell the salt, sea and spices, not the smoke from tobacco products. And three, policies that facilitate a healthy school environment. Our children need access to healthy foods and time and space to play at school. Healthy school policies can help. All schools would have gardens, greenhouses or places to grow produce. Physical education would definitely be increased and include swimming. Hi, my name is Jayla Maras, a student from the St. Andrews RC School. Here are some health initiatives I would like to see implemented in my school. Healthier local school meals with a fruit only day and local fruit juices. Secondly, stress-free days for staff and students. Lastly, a more structural physical education hour. Let's make our school a better place. Like many other young people, I feel fortunate to grow up in the Caribbean. We are known for our tropical climate, our beautiful oceans, but most importantly, our greatest asset is the vitality of our people. Our policy makers and governments must ensure that we are equipped with the skills to enhance and build healthy societies. Our education systems must address the importance of diet and exercise and lifestyle diseases. Likewise, our education systems must be made into exemplary environments to nurture the minds and bodies of our children. We are the future of our region. And something has to be done. So let's start in the schools. Let's remove all those unhealthy foods and drinks. Let's reimagine and reactivate physical movement and sports within schools. And let's promote among all the stakeholders, parents, teachers, and children, the importance of a healthy lifestyle. Let's reimagine all these possibilities into reality. You have the power to change these spaces to support Caribbean wellness. We, the Caribbean people, need your help.